Hello and welcome to Adam Sharp Weekly. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create and embed frameworks in iOS application. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and launch Xcode and create a new project. Now this particular project will be not of type of single view application, but it will be a Cocoa Touch framework. Let's go ahead and say next. You can call anything for the name of your framework. I'm just going to call it my framework. But obviously, name your framework something descriptive, something that actually specifies your framework. So I'm going to just call it my framework. Next. I'm going to just put it on the desktop. That's fine for now. And here we go. So this is our framework file that has been created. Now, currently, as you can see in my, my framework project, I don't really have anything. So I'm going to go ahead and add some Objective-C header files as well as the implementation files, which basically reflects or identifies a control that I developed some time back. So I'm going to go over to my downloads folder and copy all the files that I have for a control that I developed a long time ago called the AZ notification. It's going to go ahead and drag all these files inside this folder and say copy items if needed, that's fine. And go ahead and add that. So all of these files have been added. The main control in this case is the AZ notification, which is the starting point of the control. And all the other files like AZ notification view and UI color addition is just more of a helper files that accommodate the AZ notification. Now these are the header files and implementation file, meaning the Objective-C files. Now I can also go ahead and add a new control. Maybe I've developed some Swift control. So I'm just going to add a new one and I will call it switch view. This is the Swift file as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and create the control. Now this is not going to be any fancy control. So class and then switch view, which inherited from UI view. And that's pretty much it. You can see that I really don't have any implementation for the switch view control, but that's fine. It's inherited from UI view and that's more than enough for our example. Go ahead and select the My Framework. And if you open up the headers, so basically headers is right here, the second option, you will see the public headers and the project headers. And one thing you will notice is that in the public headers, you have the MyFramework.h but you don't have the other files being added, like the AZ notification, UI color plus addition, as well as the AZ notification view. So I'm gonna select all of these and move it into public header. There we go. Let's go ahead and compile that. Everything is fine, it compiles correctly, great. Now in order to use this particular My Framework, we have to create a separate application, maybe a single view application. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this, start a new project. And a new project will be a single view application. But this can be any application. It can be a game project, augmented reality or anything. That's fine. And I will call this a pet shop project. It doesn't really matter what you call it. And on the desktop, it's perfectly fine. Okay, so this is our application. Now what we want to do is we want to use the framework in our application, which is the pet project, which is right here. So I'm going to right click and say add files to pet shop and go to the destination where that particular framework is, which is on desktop, my framework. And you can add the framework itself, but you can also add the Xcode project also. Now, if you add the Xcode project, you can also edit the files right there and see the results much quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and select the Xcode project and add it. There we go. One thing you will notice is that although I've added the project, it doesn't really show me the files associated with the project. So how can I do that? Well, this is more of the Xcode bug. So I'm going to go ahead and close Xcode, quit Xcode completely go to my pet shop project, open this one up again, and hopefully now when it launches, it actually shows me different files as you can see. Great. 
Now, one of the files over here is the myframework.h, which is the same name as the myframework project. And over here, if you read this comment, it actually says that go ahead and import all the different files that you need to use in your application. So let's go ahead and do that. My framework slash the, the file that contains the stuff that I need is called AZ notification. This is a control that I developed. It's actually available on GitHub. So now I'm referring to AZ notification. Let's go ahead and build that. Build is successful, that's great. But if I go over to my pet shop project, which is my single view application, and try to import my framework, which is a framework that I just added, it doesn't come up. Interesting, something is wrong, right? Well, let's go ahead and see what exactly is going on. I'm gonna to go to the pet shop project, which is over here at the top, the actual Xcode project. And if you go to the build, not build phase, it's already general, and scroll down, you will see the embedded binaries and link framework and libraries is completely blank, nothing over there. So what you need to do is to add the My Framework, which is your framework project over here as a linked binary. So go to the My Framework project, which we have already added, expand the products and you'll see the myframework.framework. I'm gonna go ahead and simply drag it and drop it into embedded binaries. And now it got added into embedded binaries as well as the linked framework and binaries. Go ahead and build it. Great. Now we can go ahead and try it again. So go to the view controller and say import my framework. That is amazing because now it actually reads it. Now let's go ahead and try to use the control that we have. Our control name is AZ notification. So here we go. And one of the functions of that is show. I'm going to call the show function, passing something, hello world. Uh, actually, I'm going to use a different one. So let me remove that. AZ notification dot show. And this one, I'm just going to say hello world. So basically, you can see that I can actually use this. That's great. All right. Now let's go ahead and try to use the switch view because remember the other control that we actually added was a switch view control, which is right over here. Unfortunately, you will see that I can't really see the switch view control for some reason, it doesn't pop up. But AZ notification control does pop up. So in order for the switch view control to be visible to a view controller, which is in a completely separate library, we need to go to the switch view and we need to call it public. This means it will be visible outside of the current binary. So now I can go back to view controller and magically the switch view started appearing. Now, obviously switch view is not really a cool control. It's simply inherit from the UI view, but you, you get the picture. You can basically create your controls in iOS in using Swift language and then import those controls also like we did. Just remember that when you're creating a class, make it public so that it is also accessible from outside of the current binary. And that's it. That's how you will create a framework and that's how you will embed a framework in iOS. If you have liked these videos and you want to support my Adam Sharp channel, then go ahead and check out my Udemy videos profile page. You'll find a lot of different courses, including RX Swift, intermediate and advanced building iOS app, and if you're interested in blockchain development, I do have a Swift course on the blockchain development also. So I have a lot of list of courses which are great resources for you to learn. So go ahead, purchase these courses. The link is in the description, which will take you to the profile page and you can purchase those courses. If you like this video, comment on it, like it, share it. Thank you so much for watching Adam Shar Weekly.